you know, so which is uh, uh, they're, they're not uh, they're not tree nuts or nothing to do with nuts at all. So if you have nut allergies in any way, shape, or form, you can eat tiger nuts. Your heart content. Tiger nuts are a great source of really filling out a balance, right? Right. Of, of There's a lot of fiber in there too, which is a lot of people. Uh, you know, can use to, to is it not as a meal replacement, but it's like because it, if you drink, a, you get a lot of fiber in your body. You drink fluids, right. it just fills yes. you up, yeah. and uh, that's it. Just makes a huge, huge difference. Mm-hmm. And you know, we we when we got into this, uh, into to getting uh, tiger nuts onto the market, uh, we just didn't know what really what they were. You know, right, honestly, right. I mean. The only reason we put them on the market in the first place is you, we remember them as a kid. Yeah, I loved your story that you were telling me about. Yeah. Now, Jack's going to tell you all about that story. Don't tell him yet. Okay. Because we just want to put up... We're going to actually start chopping some regular Brazil nuts. Not me. Let Jack I'm just going to watch. Well, Am I, do you want me to do let, some? Let, let him but do it. Do, we have to use the How muscles do do that put them to work. This way? Is that okay? We're going to melt three and a half ounces of our oh. Enjoy Life chocolate chips, which you know those are all allergen free, which we love those. Oh, yeah. We're going to melt those a little bit. I'm going to give this bowl to Jeremiah to just mic it real quick. Am Ten seconds. How am I doing? Seconds in the microwave. Am I doing all right? Just getting get the big ones. All right, so for our chief nut bars, this is what we're going to be using. I'm just going to read you the ingredients. Jeremiah, hold on one second. Don't do it. We're going to use about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of butter. We're using our fresh Irish butter. Oh, wow. That's like the best. We love Irish Man, butter. Fantastic. Me too. English butter too, we like. No, Irish butter is great. Okay. Irish oh, butter fantastic. is spectacular, right? Oh, yeah. We're going to use our chocolate chips from Enjoy Life. Uh, about three quarters of a cup of sugar, or you can exchange it for agave, honey, maple syrup, whichever one you prefer. We're going to just use raw sugar today. Okay. We're going to use two eggs, a little bit of vanilla, and I'm going to go through it with you as we do it, because as we do it, I'm a little bit better because I... What do you want to do? You're going to mix. Yeah, as soon as Jeremiah gives me that. Jeremiah, come over here for a second. I'm going to put some butter in there. Give it back to me for a minute, okay? I feel like Matt Lauer on the Today Show here. You do? Yeah. You're in the cooking segment. We put them to work and we make them talk. With our Roka. (laughs) This is the Jackson's version of it, that's all. Yeah, that's true. We actually are doing it, though. Not like how... uh, you know, uh, Matt Lowry just picks them up from underneath the counter. I'm actually chopping these. Can you He's actually that? chopping. We really do put our guests to work. Yeah. We want them to earn their, their keep for their oh. food. <laughs> we'll pick that up for a We did wash our hands, but I'm just trying to make so a point here. Yeah. Jack came all the way down this morning to um, meet with us and to come and share with us some of his really yummy, super goodies that he brought us, which we're not going to divulge all of the information yet, right Jack? Well, it's, it's a work in progress, let's put it that way. We've got a lot of stuff coming. We are incredibly excited about for, you know, there's, you know, there's a lot of things going on in the, in the world and a lot of it is that things are not quite as healthy as they were, it seems to us, and we're, gonna, we're trying to make a difference. You know, if we can make a difference one person at a time, that's kind of cool. So that's all we're really trying to do. And if we can inspire people to eat better and live better, not just eat better, but, you know, exercise in their life as right. well, you know, and, and look after things generally. Um, you know, I, I, I make fun of my wife because she's an extremist, but, uh, I love that. but uh, she, you know, as I said, I was saying earlier, she, she's, she's, a, she's a, she's a, is that good? You're doing fabulous, yeah. I did, Honey, I did good if you're watching. He did wonderful. He, did. He, chop, he can chop nuts, so put him to work. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. <laughs> um, no, we're actually going to get you to start oh, some. More? Oh, do you want me to whisk that up? We do. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. We're if you have a little, little whisk, whisk, I can do that. So if you give him a turn, and I'm sure he'll give it back to you in a few minutes. Okay. Right. Oh, so you know, we're going to whisk two like eggs, three quarters of a cup of right. raw sugar. Did I do, is that okay? We actually have, Sophie, you're going to start stirring this up, honey, okay? Oh, man. That, oh, does that look good? This is uh, our Enjoy Life chocolate chips and a little bit of our Irish butter. It's so yummy. Oh, man. Yummy, yummy. Look at what we got. Jack brought us a present. Oh, wow. Now, you know girls love presents, right? All right. They're just usually sparkly in this, but we prefer Sorry about that. We prefer this version. <laughs> it is shiny, though. Yes, it is. We prefer this to the sparkles. It's like sweet. Jeremiah, would you cut that open for me, honey? And you can actually start warming up that pan. Mm-hmm. All right, Sophia's just kind of warming up that butter and chocolate chips together. Go slow, because you don't want to splatter on Jack's nice white shirt, okay? And and you're, he's whisking. Look at this. It's fabulous. This is really good. 
We'll put him to work. Try, I'm impressed with myself. Yeah, you're doing good. Keep going. Sophie, you got to keep going a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just melting a little bit of chocolate now. You can what am I risking here? You're going to leave that there for a minute. Yeah, eggs and sugar. And sugar, that's it? Yes, that's oh, wow. it. That's it. Thank you, honey. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting in our wet and dry together. This is the game that we play, wet, okay. dry, wet, Go dry. You know, we do that all the time. Okay. All right, so we'll just... Sophia, you're going to put a little bit of uh, vanilla in there. Yeah, you can put it in either one. And we also have our organic peanut butter that we're going to be using today. Okay. So we have a nutty bar. Can you open this? It's no nuts, but it's nuts. nuts you know what I mean? Yes, I do. All right, so you want me to open this? You're going to pour a little bit in, right? And I'm going to give you the peanut butter. No, just this one. About a teaspoon of vanilla. Perfect, Sophia. That's a tablespoon, but that's okay. We don't want to swim in vanilla, do we? No. And we're going to add our peanut butter. Oh, wow. Mm. You're going to actually start moving that around, incorporate it together. Go gently, honey, go gently. And you're going to keep beating oh, those eggs okay, a little bit. Yeah, oh. we want a little bit of a different color there. Okay. But when you have leather like this humidity, you really have to be careful when you're baking. You also want to make sure that all your ingredients are at room temperature. So thankfully we had everything ready and we have our Brazil nuts chopped a little bit. Jack did a great job. We have our beautiful nuts uh, from nuts.com. Thank you guys over there for sending us some these beautiful Brazil nuts. I really they do look great, don't they? They're, they're so crispy. Did you try that? Mm. Uh, they, they were going nuts in Brazil the other day, let me tell you. I know. They were right, young man. Really right, Jeremiah? Was, yeah, oh my goodness. Seven, one. Oh my god. That was crazy, right? Ridiculous. Keep mixing, girl. They don't stop. She said, "Did you not work Oh yeah, oh, I am. Oh, All right, so we're gonna do about a half a cup of our chopped nuts. Jack, you're gonna add to Some Sophia's bowl. Yeah. All of it. You're gonna add it all. all. Yes, all. yes, okay, yes. There yes. you go. Mom, I'm not gonna need a whisk now. Oh, I just broke the other one. Look at that. I do that every time. Okay. All right, now we're going to add our tiger nut flour. Okay. Yeah, no, you're going to use the fork, honey, because okay. you can just put that in there. All right, we're going to use there you go. Thank you, young man. one cup of our tiger nut flour. Oh, wait, Sophia, hold on one minute. Let me put this in. Don't go anywhere. We're going to use a cup and a little bit of our tiger nut flour. That, that, I can never understand how you chefs do that. I don't. My mom used to say it's two and a bit. How much is a bit? <laughs> Someone's gonna explain to me how much a bit is. You know, we just know by. Or a, a smidge. Yeah. It's bigger than. Is a bit bigger than a smidge? Or is, is mm -hmm. it? No, almost the same. Are they? All right. Almost. Just not enough. All right. Now we're just gonna add about a quarter cup of our almond flour. You can use coconut flour. You okay. can use almond flour. Okay. All right, Sophia, you're going to stir that in. If you're having trouble, I'll take over for you. I need a wish. So I'll hold it for you then. Hey, both I want to tell you. Guys. And we're going to add a little bit more of our chocolate chips just for oh, texture. Okay. All right? You can never go back wrong with more chocolate chips. You know what? This is like a chocolatey household. So yeah, we you have can't a little bit of that. trouble. Uh, Enjoy life chocolate chips. Don't do, make it out of the bag. We don't have to explain. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, put them down. Put them down. Or... or. Uh-oh. She gets the okay from the guests. Now, you got your hands dirty. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh -oh. All right. All right. All right, stir it up. All right, now we're going to get our pan ready. We have a square pan. Okay. Jeremiah's going to get it for try? us. Okay. We're actually going to grease that pan, 375, 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. These are going to be delicious brownies. This is actually could go for almost paleo. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because so there's All no you cavemen and women out there? All you primal eaters, this is for you. Okay. Maybe we'd have to change the chocolate chips to a carob or did, a, or well, a cocoa nips. By the way, I was uh, I, I th did I ever send you the article about paleo in the New York Times? I wanted you to talk about that because okay. that was I wasn't sure really, if I sent it to you or not. I you can let go now. Okay, okay. thank you. Well, we have um, you have the gentleman who wrote an article about tiger nuts, right? Well, that, the, there's a, there's a, there was some research done no, so in uh, the UK, the university in the UK, uh, okay. actually Oxford University. Okay. And um, they found that um, the cavemen existed pretty much on tiger nuts. 
And, awesome. and they were meat eaters too. But right. The majority of their food, they were scavengers. They right, hunting down. Yeah. Right. That and um, it was primarily they ate tiger nuts, and this, they've been around for four thousand years. Yeah, that's so, so, so crazy. That, yeah. So uh, we didn't know that. Of course, right. But, uh, so very pleasantly surprised to find that it was in the article yeah. in the New York Times thing. New York Times, what month was it? Do you remember? January. Okay, so, so if you go on to New York Times website. Yeah, just uh, uh, put in there, um, caveman and tiger. Just put in tiger nuts and you'll find it. And it's also in the Huffington Post, Fox News, all over the country. And it's very, yeah, yeah, it's very, very interesting yeah. information. And for those of us out there who like to eat healthy like we do, Friday's like our only day that we kind of do cake and cookies since and we're doing yeah. the show. I knew there was a reason you invited me on a Friday. We wanted you to have a special cool. treat. Well, I see. Yeah, but yeah, there's a reason for that. You know the other reason? What's it is, you didn't know this. I was raised in a candy store. Oh, my word. That's true. My so was Friday your candy day? Mom and Dad owned a, a Mom and Pop candy store. Oh, that's awesome. That's why I, so I was raised living in there. And when they first, here's a true story. When they first bought the store, I was 11 years old. And, I, first, and I, was in a, I used to work in the store, and they used to say to me, Okay, you can eat as much as you want. So, get it, so just get it out get of the it system. Over with. Yeah, get it over. Because you're going to do it anyway, right? Did they didn't beat me? I still love. You chocolate. still love candy. Oh yeah, no, they didn't beat. Me. So there was no. No, nah, there is no stop. There is the no store. stop button for me when it comes to chocolate. Oh, that's funny. Jeremiah, would you hold this up and show everybody? So we put this yeah, in our pan. We greased either, huh? it. We've got our tiger nut, chief nut brownies ready to go in the oven. Right. Jeremiah, you're going to show them that, and then we're going to start on our next project. We're really working it to the bone today. Wow, look at this. <laughs> that does look good, doesn't it? Can I smell? Mm. <laughs> I think we're going to do it right. What do you think? Yeah. So we know we, we're glad that you love chocolate now. Oh, yes. You know that. Thank you. You know, when I asked Jack to be on the show, we've been trying to schedule this for quite a yeah, while. Quite a while. And, you know, I say, what's your allergies? What do you like? What do you don't like? And your response was? Nothing. <laughs> pretty much, I eat everything. Anything you put in front of me, I'm going to eat. 75, 20 minute mm. start. Um, you know, yes. I mean, and we're looking at the water, and I'm thinking, is that the ocean's out there. I mean, oh, man, there's got to be a great fish restaurant around here somewhere, too. There should maybe possibly be one. Yeah. All right, we're getting started on our next item. You ready, Sophia? What's next? You lost your apron? Uh-oh. We're going to make, our, we're gonna make our BLT cakes. Are you ready? What's a BLT cake? All right, we're going to tell you all about it. Oh, we're going to put you to work. Exciting. We have to put you to work, you know. Okay. Let's try. We want to eat. you got to work, right? Jeremiah, yeah. would you hand me the ingredients? Got to pay the piper, baby. Got to pay the piper. Okay. How's that? Right, Is that comfy? Is that all right? Those no shoes. Hi, Daddy. Your dad gave you those? My dad needs it. You're kidding me. Wow. You're a little tiger, aren't you? That's my apron she's wearing today. Wow. Right? That, that is in honor of the tiger. It looks like a tiger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We love the apron. Isn't that great? Great. Cool. All right. So what we're going to be doing now, Jeremiah. Oh, I'll get the bowl. Never mind. You're busy. All right. We're going to make our BLT cakes. Now, the B stands for? Bacon. 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 The T. I mean, the L stands for? Lettuce. And the T stands for? Tomato. No. Take another guess. What do we have today? Uh -oh. Tiger nuts. Tiger nuts. Oh, wow. That's So we're great. making a BLT. We're making our bacon lettuce to make tiger nut. We're going to top them with some spectacular stuff that we're going to put you to work making. Sophia can't wait. Look at her. She's she's just she's starving. She's eating. You would think I didn't feed her, right? I mean, I was. A, I, you know, I'll be very frank with you. I was a bit concerned when I the poor child's begging for food. I'm like, she's begging for food. I wanted to take her out to have something to eat. In a house that eats every two hours, she's you know, begging for food. Begging for food. All right. So this is how we're going to get started. We're going to do one cup of cornmeal. Okay. And I'm going to give you that. Okay. We're just using our gluten-free cornmeal. Mommy, yeah, a little less than a cup. All right. All right, honey, thank you. And we're just going to put everything here. Then we're going to use a cup of tiger nut flour. Okay. Mommy needs a whisk. Whoops. I'll get him a whisk, don't worry. Okay. And you can always sift this out if you want to. We're very raw cooks. We kind of just let it go. Yeah. All right, let him, sit, let him turn that around a little bit, Sophia. Now, with the tiger nut flour, you can use the tiger nut flour straight up. We added the cornmeal because we were doing a little corn cake version, BLT, for you today because we wanted you to have a little lunch. We know you probably drove and only had a little bit to eat, so. 
All right, we're doing baking powder, one tablespoon of baking powder. Sophia, I'm going to, could you um, go get a, could you get me a tablespoon measure, please? He's going to stir that up. We're just going to break up some of the clumps that we got a kilo of tiger nut flour today. Now, you know, I might be a little bit addicted. I'm not really sure. But a kilo, you know, for those of you out there, pounds. it's like 2.2 .2 pounds. Actually, it's nearly 2.3, actually. I could use a drum of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm going to give that to you, Jack. Okay. That wasn't enough, so I'm going to give you a little bit more. But it's one tablespoon. All right, we're going to do a little bit of salt. Do you have to throw okay. it over your shoulder with salt? No, no, only if you believe in bad luck, good luck. You want to throw it over your shoulder? No, I don't know. I'm just asking yeah, a I question. I remember, you know I remember people did that. I was just yeah, you're right. My grandmother did what that. What does that mean? She used to do that once in a while being yeah. funny. All right, we're going to put a little dash of cayenne pepper in there. We're going to give it a little kick. Ooh, that's spicy, lovely. All right, and now we're going to add one egg, Sophia. You're going to whisk the egg in here. No, we're, we're, I'm sorry. We're going to do it in there. This is for the actual dressing. You're going to whisk it? You want to put one egg in there. And we have our coconut milk with a little bit, uh, like a tablespoon of white vinegar. Oh. And we turned it into that buttermilk version. So we have okay. that, Sophia, here. Put that over here. Put that right here, honey. Put it back in there. Good girl. And wipe your hands off. Don't wipe them on Just the one? Ready? Okay. Now, Miss. we're doing the buttermilk. Okay. Our version of buttermilk. Okay. Now, if you're dairy-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, that oh, careful, honey. If you're that, you can always swap out your ex exchanges. The recipe, the original recipe, called for sugar in the BLT cakes, but we're leaving that out because we want a savory version. At home, if you want to do a sweet version, you can add two or three tablespoons of sugar in there, or agave, or maple syrup, and you can actually have a sweet cake instead. And what we're going to be baking this in is our whoopie pie pan. We're using our whoopie pie pan to make our BLT Tiger Nut Cakes. Jeremiah, you're going to grease that up for us, please. I have the... Uh, here you go. There you go. The rest of the ingredients that we have on here is for our... the topping for our BLT cakes and our homemade ranch dressing, which we're going to get started on. Because once this stuff goes in the oven, we have to put him to work again. We can't let him... Work? He's got to work it, work it, work it. Wow. I thought that was going to be a day off. <laughs> No days off. Oh man, I, wait, till, wait till my partner sees this. He's going to go. Okay, Jim, what do you think? <laughs> we put him to work for about an hour and then we let him wow. eat. All right, so you're doing good. That's nice and incorporated. Is that good? Yeah, we have a great consistency. We're just going to like let you see that. We have a nice, ready, almost a pancake mix ready to make our tiger nut cakes. We're almost ready. Jeremiah's going to give us the pan and we're going to actually stop. Please. You want to get the little ladle out of the drawer right there, Sophia, and we're going to use the ladle to ladle it into the whoopie pie pan. We have the oven at 375. We're going to put those in for about 15 to 20 minutes, and we want to check them. When they come out of the oven, they have a nice little crisp around oh, the yeah. edges. Oh, yeah? Oh, like muffin tops? Mm-hmm. Oh! And then, like but that. as the humidity gets to them, they get soggy. Ah. So you want to eat them right away, or you can re-toast them in the oven. I don't think that'd be important. No, no problem. Jeremiah, actually, you can get the ones out of the refrigerator, put them on a baking sheet, put them in. You're going to ladle? You want Jack to help you or no? Start at the top. And Sophia's going to fill them up, honey. You fill them all the way up. While she's filling that up, we're going to get some of our ingredients ready to make our topping for our BLT cakes. Can I just some anything in there? We actually greased them. Yep, we did not use the tiger in the middle you brought us because no, I'm just wondering. very, very Dingy. Well, you should be with that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't dingy. even want to tell anybody we've got it because it's so yeah, expensive. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it, so I, I won't even. But it's actually, you can get it online, <laughs> you get it. right? Yeah, you can, you get, can it. get it. You can get it at tigernutusa.com, right? Yeah, the, the oil's not for sale yet. You know, okay, online, so the right, tiger nut? You, you can get all of the uh, ingredients. You can see the bags right there. You can get, these are the, the, these the, are you can get the kilos of them as well. The That's big right. kilo packs. If you're a baker like us or you just like really good food and you like to eat, you want to get the kilo bag because that's really going to keep you going until you can place your order again. These are the smaller bags. They have the supremely peeled, the unpeeled. Yeah, you right? get the, 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 uh, what we call supreme peeled and there's premium organic as well. The premium organic, which they're both organic. They're both they're organic, yeah. Peeled and unpeeled. Yeah. And then we have the ones in the back we're going to show you a little bit later, but not yet. All right, oh, Sophia, come on, fill it up. we got to get these in the oven, honey. Okay, okay. All right, okay, okay, okay. That yes, honey. Really good, Put them in the oven for about 10 minutes. 
How do you remember all that stuff that goes in there? I guess it's your job, right? All the stuff that goes in there. Like recipe. It's all, oh, in, it's sometimes they come to me in the middle of the night. I have to get up and write them down. Yeah. So go easy. We don't want splatters on the sides, honey. You're doing good. Okay. Doing good. Get a big scoop. Get a big scoop. So that recipe makes about six to eight tiger nut cakes. Now, when you're make, making them in the oven, you want to just keep an eye on them. When they start to pull away from the pan, you know they're finished. Now, in our first recipe, we added corn, whole grain, whole corn, to the recipe, but I prefer actually putting the corn on top okay. and having a nice little, almost like a corn relish for that. And we're gonna get to work on that as soon as Sophia's finished with this. You're doing great, yeah. honey. All right, let's let's shimmy this a little bit and see which one needs more. Which one do you think needs a little bit more? No? Well, you have a little bit. We might as well use yeah, it, right? That one's overflowed. Yeah, that's okay. We'll that, use a that little bit That means it's going to probably go over the top, right? <laughs> I like that. Mm, it's okay. The bigger the better, I think. Okay. Yeah, We're done with this. Jeremiah, you, you want to take that? Out. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Okay, Jeremiah's going to put this in the oven, 375. We're going to start at 15 minutes because we don't want them to burn. And normally, they went to about 20 to 25, so we're going to put those in the oven. Wow. Jeremiah? Tomatoes from our garden. Put those in the oven, honey. Thank you. Wow. All right, so tiger nut cakes are in. Yeah, so now we're going to start chopping. Start at 15. Should we, give him a, should we give Jack a cutting board and a knife? No. We want to know if he's safe with a knife. Somebody somebody, um, comment in and let us know if he's okay with a knife. I doubt it, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Should we give you a smaller cutting board, Jack? What do you think? Well, uh, well um, I think yeah, I can handle a smaller one. You can handle a smaller one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, Sophia, not, not yet. Stop, stop, stop. You're always hurrying, hurry, hurry, hurry. Well, she's stopping. I, I know, I know. All right, so for the for top child. of our BLT cakes, we have a bunch of different things we're going to be using. We have a daikon. We're going to cut a daikon. That's a white radish. We have a red onion, which we already did because I don't like to cry in front of everybody. Okay. We have our nice corn, which we're going to do first. Is that local do you want to corn? Do corn? This is local corn, and if you're from Jersey, yeah, the best, you right? have to eat corn. Yeah. Corn and tomatoes, those right. two things. Yeah, yeah. Corn. Jersey corn is fantastic. We want to thank Sweet. Christina Krowicki from Krowicki's Farm for getting us our corn. Oh, it's delicious. She actually, she uses elephant manure from... Great adventure too much to fertilize her vegetables. Too much system. information. But it comes out spectacular. So, <laughs> well, we'll let we'll, we'll let him think about that for a minute. But we're still going to put him to work. So as you're working, I'm going to eat. I think. <laughs> corn, I, just I would you? never look at an ear of corn the same way again. All right. Well, you know what? Once you taste it, you won't mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> the first time she told us that, we almost passed out. I can imagine. We like, almost uh, passed out. Well, imagine how you felt, now you know. Do you think that you yes. can cut that in the bowl? Cut it? To, to enjoy cut what? the corn off the cob. Oh, I've never cut it in my life like that. Then I'll do it for you. How about that? I, I've never, Wait. ever, I've eaten it like that. All I, right, so I'll what we're going to do, how about we'll get you cutting the die cut. Okay. Do that. I, sure. Right. right. So Just now, slice whatever. Jeremiah, hold on one second, Sophie. I don't want you to do the tomatoes yet. Okay, can you wait one second? I know, I wanted you to wait a second. got to do peppers and avocados. Oh, wow. I'll do the... Somebody dulled my knife. Hmm. I wonder who that was. I don't know. Who was that? <laughs> Alright, so we, we really want to give a little shout out to Lauren, too, because she's been so helpful. Oh, yeah. With us Lauren. mixing back and forth. Thank you so much, Lauren, for keeping in touch. And Jack tells me how spectacular you are. I just can't wait to meet you. She's not that good. She wants more money. She... Oh, well. I didn't say anything about money. I was just talking about personality. She's fantastic. She okay. really is. You're going to be able to cut this? Gonna just slice you're gonna slice it? You're going to slice it like this. Yeah, I can no, do no, that. not yet. And oh. then you're going to do oh. this. Oh, okay. I can do that. All right. Can you yeah. do that? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do that. this. Sure. Here's your example. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I need instruction. Try to teach me. There's his example. A daikon radish is really hot and spicy. It's almost mm, like so horseradish. I'm not having a daikon radish. Yes, you are. It's going to be in here. All right, so I'm going to cut the corn. Jeremiah, can I have another? Never mind. Oh, wow. I'm going to cut the corn off the cob. Jersey corn, Jersey tomatoes on top of a tiger nut cake is just going to be fabulous. I can't wait. Well, that's a big radish, isn't it? Yeah, it's love gigantic. Radish. I love you love radish. radish? I love radish. That is so spicy. got to try it. Oh, wow. Yes, not, are, they, are they popular in the U.S.? I mean, I've lived with them. Daikon radish is becoming slowly more popular for the Asian influence, but 
A lot of people are becoming more health can I put, conscious. Where do I put, can I put this here? You're going to put it wherever you want because it's going to go right in this bowl when we're done. All right, so we cut our corn off the top. I'm going to save this for myself. You can boil this and get the corn milk out of here and save it, or you could just eat it like Christina and her group does over there, right? We watch them just eat the raw corn right off the cob. It's fantastic. All right, we have corn. We have our pepper. Sophia, smell around the chives. Smell around the chives. The chives are actually for the ranch dressing that we're making, so you're going ahead of me. How about you stop that for a second? She's going way ahead of me. He's doing good over here. We yeah, like good matchsticks. He's doing great. We put him to work and he's doing great. Wow. All right, hold on one second. I'm beginning to hope that my wife is not watching this. <laughs> Move your hands away for one minute so mommy can do this. We're just going to chop our chives real small. Are you crying that it's the radish? It's the radish, yeah. They are a bit or is it the chive? Strong. The chive is strong too. How is it? Yeah, all right, we're going to just pass that into here. We're going to put a little bit in here. We're going to mimic our flavors with the top with the relish mm -hmm. and with our ranch dressing. All right, Sophia, you can chop the tomatoes up very small. Look at our little green tomatoes from our garden. Oh, wow. We had a few. They're not red yet, but they're getting there. All right, so for the relish on the top, we're using corn. I think you're good with that, Jack. That's plenty enough. enough. Yeah, we're actually put just one handful in there, okay. and we'll save the rest for later. Okay. One handful, half, whatever. Um, we can actually put that in here. All that radish you can put right in there, okay. and you can put the top in there. Nice. We'll save right. Sophia's going to dice up our what's nice it? green tomato. What's the difference between the red radishes that you normally see in these? What's the difference? You know what, I think the white seems spicier, but when we get the radishes from the farmer's market, mm -hmm. they're both very vibrant and spicy. Yeah. Um, obviously, the white one, you can mask into a lot of different things okay. and put them in things that people may not know what it is. And then uh, the red one, you know, we like to eat the radish and the greens, so maybe your wife might... Oh, it go for be, that too, but it's really fire. As long as it can go in a blender, it's fine. It's yeah, fine. that's exactly what it right. Is. All right, we have a nice red pepper here. We're just oh. going to ask you to dice up maybe sure. uh, a third of that. So that, that. So can I take the top I'm putting everybody this? to work. I have nothing to do today. I'm putting all of Can I take the seed out for outside? You can do whatever you want. You do it how you want it. See, he says he doesn't know how to cook. He's, right. he's doing it all. Let me take it? Yeah. All right. All right. Jeremiah's in the back. He's crisping up our bacon. Now we got a bacon slab, which means it wasn't cut into slices. Jeremiah and uh, gluten-free grandma diced it up nice. We're going to crisp that up in our pan, and then we're going to top that onto our tiger nut cake. It's going to be phenomenal. Is that the so, right size? That's a little bit smaller. Small we're going to dice that? like Sophia okay. has. It oh, almost okay. looks like a jalapeno, right, Sophia? I'm going to get started on a ranch dressing because um, that's like my one of my favorite things to have. We have our chives already cut up. So okay, you're yeah. actually going to say we have the chive flower top, which is phenomenal to eat. You could dip that yeah. in chocolate and it's fabulous. We're going to save that for the top yeah, of our special knife there too, didn't you? She has a bunch of special knives. We have a, we have a knife fetish. You know anybody with a knife fetish? Now they tell me. <laughs> now they tell me. We invited them all the way well, down then, and we no, tell them we have a knife fetish. This is a little bit of a funny household, <laughs> folks, so i got to tell you that. You're going to do parsley next, Sophia. We're actually going to do an avocado for the top of our BLT cakes, and maybe I put Jack to work on that when he's done with the when he's done with the red onion. You want to do it? Okay. Watch. All right, you can watch. We have our red onion ready to go. We diced that up earlier. We're going to just toss that in there. Jack, what do you think about these? Oh, they look nice, don't they? What do you, What do you know about that? They look like peas. They look like peas. See? He's very smart. They're brilliant. We're going to open them up. Yeah. I used to do it by shucking, they call that. Shucking the peas. I remember that. I used yep. to do it as my grandmother used to get me a Sunday morning job for me. Really? Yeah. They're raw, delicious. Too. Yep, we eat them raw. Mm. Love it. We love them raw. Mm. Mm. Delicious, right? Oh, yeah. So the farm that we go to, oh, that we're talking about with the corn, four, got she got us six. these beautiful peas. Mama. You did. We're just going to open up a couple and put them right into our our relish topping for our BLT cakes. When, when I was a kid, 
in England before I came to America. My um, my father, we didn't have a big garden, but my father they used to used to they used to have a company called you know, allotments in those days. You, from the local council, the local town, put this in there. Yes, go right ahead. They, you would um, you would rent some land to grow oh, cool. vegetables. So we were raised on all fresh vegetables and so we had So we had peas and tomatoes and all that stuff. Potatoes, all good for ourselves. That is great. That's wonderful. It's just so cool. My yeah. husband's father was a potato farmer in Ireland. Oh, okay. And his uncle has a very large farm in Ireland with all kinds of cattle and. Oh, okay. And you know we go there, sure. and in the morning we just wake up, pick some apples, get sure. some potatoes, make get some eggs, make breakfast, make lunch, make dinner. With some I never went there though. No. Not um, yet. Sure. Not yet. Sure you will, mother. All right. So for our ranch dressing, we're going to do about a half a cup of our coconut milk yogurt. We have plain yogurt, Josh. We're just using right. plain. We're going to use about a half a cup, to a quarter cup to half a cup of our coconut milk to loosen that up a little bit. Now, you're a chef, so you can probably answer this. You talk about yogurt, and I'm a, I'm a yogurt freak. I love yogurt. Yogurt? Well, I do. Okay. So now, well, my question to you is, what's you the difference between regular yogurt and Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt. Do you like Greek yogurt? Love it. We love Greek yogurt. It's the strain. So, so it's just what? What's the difference? It's almost like you know cream and clotted cream. Oh, okay. Similar right. to that. I have to All speak right. English language because you get that. I understand. Cream and clotted. Sure. Cream. So the the uh, Greek yogurt is is a more like a clotted cream. cream. Right. Exactly. Yep, got it. And um, actually, they didn't have our Greek yogurt that we love, the coconut cream Greek okay. yogurt. Okay. So we had to just get the regular. So we actually have coconut milk. Coconut yogurt, some chives. Let's see what else. Yeah. We have our. Very exciting, isn't it? We have our fresh dill from our garden that we dried and saved. Smell that, Sophia. What do you think? Oh man. Smell that. Cool? Oh, you don't like that? Yeah. It's really dilly. <laughs> don't dilly dally. Okay, so about a half a teaspoon of that. You heard that expression? Yeah, dilly dally. Don't dilly dally. We're gonna do. Two pinches, up. two pinches of salt, a little bit of pepper, a couple turns of the wheel here. This is so good, isn't it? Good girl, Sophia. You are the best chopper ever. Good. Jack, I think that's great with the peas. Enough? You want more of them? Mm, maybe a little bit more. Finish them up. No problem. Wow, gluten for you guys. Oh, okay. home. Hello. to the ranch dressing, a little bit more items. We're going to use parsley. You can see Sophia chopping and Jack doing his work over here. I'm shucking. Oh, he's shucking the shells here. Sophia's got the avocado. She's going to dice that avocado, put it into the relish. We're going to chop the parsley, put it into here. So if you need to go get your napkin, go get a drink, go do it now. Because Jeremiah is baking the bacon. We're making the relish and the ranch dressing. The tiger nut cakes are in the oven, along with our paleo brownies with tiger nut flour. Yum. You guys, if you're not cool yet and you don't need a cup of coffee or a glass of water. How do you make it go, let them taste it? How do you let them taste it? Yeah, you know what? We want Emerald Lagasse uh, smell vision <laughs> Scratch and sniff. Maybe scratch and sniff. sniff. We need to scratch and sniff TV. Yeah. That would be good. How are we doing? Yeah. All right, the last ingredient to our ranch dressing is our a squeeze of lemon juice. We use about... A tablespoon of lemon juice, more if you like more. I love lemon, so I like to add a little bit of lemon juice. You okay See this girl going to work? Look at this. You She's okay unbelievable, then? right? Be careful, yeah. Now, the way we can tell homemade items huh? is. Uh, with a spoon? Okay. She's all right. Okay. You want me to help you with that? Yeah. That's enough. That's enough. Good. All right, wait, let me see. We're going to break this up into little chunks. And, Jack, I'll actually let you toss that a little bit okay. gently. By hand? Fun. No, I'll give you a spoon. See, look at him tossing the salad. There you go. All right, Sophia, I think that's good, honey. You're doing a great job. Put all this back in here. All oh, right. This garbage, right? Ready? Fantastic. Good girl. Now you want to just chunk that up, Jack. Make sure we have little chunks in there. Okay. You ready? Our next yeah. step, we're going to do our parsley. So I think I'll do that quick while Sophia's doing what she's doing. Done. We're going to chop our parsley. Did you put some peas in there? Yeah, put some peas in there. There you go. So we've been turning people on to these fresh peas. Yeah, you might as well. 
This salad yeah. is delicious to have later, even if you don't use it on top of the tiger nut cakes. I love her. We had our friend Jeannie over last week, and she said she doesn't like peas. So her husband said, I can't believe we got her to eat peas. Oh, my goodness. So we're very excited that she liked those peas. All right, so the last thing we added to our... Right. The last thing we get into our ranch dressing was our parsley. Now, we're not going to taste that yet because we want to clean up our mouth a little bit. There you go. How are you doing, good? Good? What do you think? Okay, good. You're set? Okay, good girl. We're going to do a little bit of salt and pepper on top of here. You know, the radish is really strong. Sometimes it can overpower. Sorry, honey. So you might need a little bit of lemon juice or something like that to okay. take that bite away. But okay. since we have the ranch dressing going okay. on top, we probably will be fine. Okay. Our chef. Okay. All right. All right, so we're going to toss this up. nice fresh salad that we're going to put right on top of our tiger nut cakes. We've got this ready. All right, so let's see. What do we have coming out, Jeremiah? No. We have stuff coming out? No. no. It's a surprise. Oh, oh, it's a surprise. Okay. okay, let's clean up our mess. We have one more thing to do, Jack. What do you think? Well, Did I wear you out yet? No, this is fine. <laughs> Let me have dirty. Anything dirty. Yeah, you can put it right there. Yeah. Our last item that we're going to be making is, is our chocolate ganache for the brownies. So, should we do the chocolate ganache? Uh, anything chocolate. Okay. Right. We're going to go with the chocolate ganache. All right, so we're going to add a few ounces. What, honey? We're covering the tiger nut cakes. We are. We're gonna oh. put our we're gonna put our chocolate chips in the microwave just for about 30, 40 seconds. I, I hate doing the microwave. I hate the microwave. But for oh. stuff like this, I just have to go. do it. I have to. Alright, Jeremiah, put those in the microwave. Oh, we're not gonna do that right now, but let's clean up our mess. Now that we take Jack's knife. Yes, you can do whatever you want. Just, I, I, I'm mess. just trying to impress my wife, this one. He's doing a great job. You've got to put him to work more often. People tell me all the time, my husband doesn't cook, my kids don't cook. I said, you should watch our show because you'll get them to change their minds. Pinky. You want how long? You made me a Mickey Mouse pinky. I'll put it in one minute. All right, we've got corn husk hairs everywhere, so we don't want anybody, we don't want anybody to get nervous about that. that do we? Now, we always know that we have to feed gluten-free grandma first, otherwise the cleanup is a little bit a little bit scary. But I wanted to ask a couple more questions about tiger nuts. Sure, because this sure. was, when we first met, right. you sent me a sample, and I loved it. Okay. And I kept bothering you. No, you didn't. About, you were delicious. I needed more. <laughs> it was very sweet. So very I started sweet. ordering them on, I actually ordered them from your website. You did. I said, I need a bigger bag, I need more, I need more, because we go to soccer and surfing and the beach and right. and biking and all that kind of stuff. So you have a nice big bag. We do, we do. Now, I can I can actually show them that big bag. There you go. This is the one who likes them the most. She loves them. So this is the big bag. Now, on the big bag, the only thing that I was, a question, mm. there's... Did no, you they, do that just because I... You yeah, I bought these just for you. No, normally okay. they come in a wrap. So they come... And they've got all the, uh, all the uh, all ingredients... The nutritional you know, information on the back, that, yeah. which is staggering. If you read the nutritional information on TigerNutUSA.com, right. it's quite fascinating. Now, 20 of those tiger nuts is a sufficient snack to hold you over right. until you get to where you're going or when you can have your next meal. Right. So it really can almost be a, a meal replacement. Yeah, it, 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 it also it, it certainly, and it certainly curbs, it helps curb your appetite. It does, it curbs the appetite. And I also noticed that it's very filling, so if you drink it with a glass of water, right. you're really full, yeah. which is great because I need that sometimes when we're yeah. stuck in a car. Absolutely. Look at you, he's gonna have to change the cover of his email. <laughs> and maybe yeah. we should put your picture on you the, the, the tiger. That's, that's what we should do. <laughs> Right, let me put those That'd away. Be cute, isn't it? That's what we should do. Because I've got some pictures of people eating them. They look, they look, they look quite happy about it. Yeah, she's a happy one. <laughs> All right, oh, so we're going to do our chocolate ganache for the top yeah. of our brownies. Jeremiah, can I have that out, please? Yes. Yeah, you okay? What do you say? Chocolate. Chocolate. Look on. My mom's. Yes. Chocolate. Sneak chocolate. Excuse me. I sneak chocolate. Yes, okay. I sneak. I don't have to sneak it on the mommy. I can have as much as I want. Can I start? You're going to stir this up for me. Get a spoon. We're using our Irish. Right. Curry gold? Yeah. Curry gold. 
I used to have it as a kid, that's why I know it. It's in the so stores, delicious, oh, yeah. really. Okay, so like a tablespoon of water. Get a spoon out and start stirring, honey, please. Is, is, is that important? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Import Can you get it easily here? Well, now they have it at ShopRite and Costco, oh, really? which is oh, fantastic. Oh, but, oh, yeah. you know, we used to have to scramble for it. Right. Now, and is, that, is, is, that, is that salt free or, or not? They have salted and unsalted. They do. So the bakers are happy, you know. Yeah. They like, uh, that's actually the salted version. I like... I like salt and sugar and a little butter. It just kind of yeah. tastes nice together. Because on, on, on bread sometimes, if it's nice, actually sometimes it's done nice without the salt. Sometimes. Absolutely, yes, without the salt. I, I like um, the fact that they tell the story of their cows on all of their products. Oh, really? I didn't they know tell that. you they're grass fed, and in the summer it's a much richer color, mm -hmm. much richer texture, and it's actually heavier, whereas American butter right. is 20% water, oh, really? which is why it looks like ah. it does. Sorry, I didn't really put that there. Oops. But we love Irish butter, we love our yeah, we love our Amish butter. It's yeah. fantastic, and it makes really good. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add some powdered sugar. By the way, I'm going to tell you a quick story about Irish, Irish butter. Do you know how my, my mother used to teach me as a child how much, you, when you know how much butter you, is the right amount of butter to put on the bread? Don't drink it. When you, can, when you can see your teeth marks in it. <laughs> that would be like his father. That's when you know how much butter to put on the bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used to have an event where our kids would eat the butter, just straight right. up. Oh, yeah. We would eat, put sugar. On it too. Go ahead, you get a spoon of butter, and put some sugar on it. Oh, are you kidding me? I can imagine it would probably be really good. Jeremiah would like that. Oh. He's a butter and a sugar lover. Oh. All right, so what I'm going to do now, Sophie, is I'm going to take this from you because I need to really beat this hard. And normally to make a ganache, you know, you need to boil it over the double boiler, do the whole thing, but we're always looking for the easy version. You say that as like everybody would know that. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sure all right. great. Well, I'm going to stir this up real hard so I get all of the lumps out. And normally you put this in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes okay. to get it tightened up. Uh -huh. Hopefully we have, ours is going to be ready fast. And you're going to put this over the chocolate brownies. You can put okay. it over while they're mm -hmm. hot or cold. Okay. And it's going to make, make a nice shot on top. Okay. Right, I so could just lick the bowl. That's, that's the another bowl. way of doing it. You know? you can do just, that, yeah. just a thought. You know? yeah. Alright, so what time do you think it is almost? Brownie time. Is it time for brownies? Daddy. Jeremiah, do you think the brownies are cooling for about 10 minutes? Um, I'm going to put this over here. Hey, Robert, would you mind bringing this stuff to me? The new pan? The whoopie pie pan? No, just the whoopie pie pan. And then the brownies. All right, so we have our tiger nut cakes out of the oven. Feel those, Jack. Feel that nice little crust. Oh, yeah, isn't that nice? Wow. Okay. We're going to just pop them out. I usually use my rubber spatula, but we're going to take those out nice. You know what? Hang on for that for a minute. I think that needs to go back in a little bit. Can you put that back in real quick? 375. 325 would be the ultimate for 45 minutes for the brownies. 325 and 40 minutes for the brownies would be the ultimate because this is how it's going to be. That was my move. So, so could you just back up a little bit so I can actually get worked in here? Alright, so what are we going to do with these tiger nut cakes? Does anybody know? What else? That would be a good idea. Okay. What else? Eat them. Uh, I think I got a better answer. What do you think? We have a little bit of work to do before we can eat them. So Kriya, you're going to pass out the what? BYON, you guys, because this is a spectacular little lunch. Jeremiah, can you get me the mescaline out of the refrigerator? I mean, we yep. have yeah, nice arugula for on top, too. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Make sure you take care of gluten free grandma and gluten free daddy. We don't want to miss them.
We're going to actually have a little bit of our arugula on the bottom. I think your wife would be proud of all the veggies. Oh, I, I, tell you, I think she's going to forget. But can, she get, can she see this, by the she way? She can watch it. Because she's working today. She can so. watch it anytime. It's always there. Oh, well, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, no. We'll be up on YouTube and FoodTube, and we'll also be on Livestream.com. If you follow us on Livestream.com, you'll get all of our updates, and you would know that Jack was coming today because we sent it out to you. All right, so we have a little bit of arugula on the top. We're going to put our salad on. Salad? A little bit of our relish. Well, it's, we, what do you want to call it? Nothing. You don't want to call it anything? I mean, you've got to call it something. Uh, that's a summer summer topping, isn't it? I mean, oh, it's all good it's for the a really nice summer thing. stuff. Yep, it's right? all, of, all the good summer veggies that are out right now. Know. That one? Okay, so What's now. What's your question about that one? She always picks her. She's got to pick her. Why? What? So I want to know why that one. Why that one, not that one? Ah, there it goes. It's closest, right? Or is it the biggest one? Okay, so we're putting our, we're topping it with our ranch dressing. Wow. Watch out for those lemon pits. That oh. little, you know, it's fresh ranch when you get that. We, this is, There's this is like our. There. Did you call yeah. them pips? Pips. I thought, you said, I thought you said pips for a minute. Pips. So no, she's the pip. No, no, but that's what I call them in Europe. Oh, you call them pips, really? Pips, yeah. They're pips. I, that's I what said I thought pips. you said. And I thought, I no, I've never heard an American say pips before. I use some of those terms because of him, but not many know. So. Right, they're called Look pips. at you, you're not even waiting. Go ahead, Jack. Oh, I guess it must be good. Go ahead, you want a fork? Um, gluten-free guy and gluten-free grandma, you want to take that with there you? you? Go. This will be Jeremiah's, and this will be mine. Everybody's going to take a bite, and let's see what we think. You take a Now we'll know if you like it or not because you know this is live. You can't pretend, so we don't like the pretending. We want we want a true account of what do you think of the cakes. I think I need more topping on mine. Mm. Mm. Who wants bacon? Mm. Me. Mmm. We need the bacon. bacon. Oh, we need our bacon. Jeremiah, bring the bacon out. Mmm. Mm. Bacon. Mmm. All right. Oh, wow. I almost forgot. Oh wow. I almost forgot our bacon. Yeah, it's not a bee, not a bee without a, I know, a bee right? without a bee, is it? Guys, come, come and get your bacon. I almost forgot. Oh my goodness! Oh, wow. The BLT wouldn't be the BLT without the bee. No, that's true. Probably okay. just an L, just an LT. I mean, I know, right? Uh, All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Boy, the tiger nut cakes. You need a little, you need a little bit more ranch. Are you okay? I'm oh, fine, thank you. All right, Jeremiah, you want to take a take thank a taste? You. I can't believe how strong the, the, uh, they are. I'm amazed. I didn't think they were going to be like that. The daikon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Super strong. You can omit it if you don't like it. No, no. Spicy? Great. But I'm good. Mmm. That was a lot of flavor. So bacon and avocado. Mmm. One of our favorite. No. Mm -hmm. The tiger nut cakes pick up the flavor, but they have a little nutty flavor of their own. Nice yeah, texture. They do. Little crumbly like a cornbread. Mmm. Mm. 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 Gotta get a bite of everything together. Wow. How's everybody doing? It's very quiet over yeah, here. Yeah, not a lot of noise going on. It's very quiet. What? This is so if you take a bite of the tiger nut with everything. Mm. Delicious. Mm. 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 We have our ranch dressing that's made just from our coconut yogurt and our coconut milk. And How do you make it? Coconut? coconut yogurt, coconut milk, a little bit of lemon juice, and the fresh herbs. The fresh herbs wow. really make it nice. Now, mm. we didn't notice we didn't taste anything before to say, right? Normally, you know, take a little taste. Mm. Make sure we have enough lemon juice, enough salt, enough pepper. Okay. Robert's already done. Gluten free dad is done with his tiger nut cake. Oh, wow. Done with his. I've got to put mine aside because I need to get to work. Because are we have to time. We're almost out of time. We have to get our. We have to get our brownies out of the oven. Uh -oh. Maya, are they ready? Yeah. Do you want me to do anything? You know what? I'm just going to eat. You, you just eat. Go right ahead. Jeremiah, can they come out yet or no? The tiger nut brownies are still in the oven. We want to make sure that if we can't get them out in time before we end the show. We're going to post a picture on live stream. We'll also put our picture on Facebook and Twitter, so we don't want you to miss anything. Mm -hmm. 
How you doing, all right? Oh, we doing great. Huh? Is, it, is the cake cooked all the way through? Jeremiah oh. did a good job. This is yeah. fantastic. Wow. You need a spice. It's beautiful. Mm. You want one to the... Yeah, cook one. Mm. You want to be magic cake? Yeah, I guess we'll bring out... Bring out the chocolate covered tiger nuts. Oh, wow. Show Jack. Mm. All right, so earlier today, we did a, a chocolate covered tiger nuts. Jeremiah, bring it back here, honey. This is a first. All right. So we have our chocolate covered tiger nuts that we're actually going to oh, wow. over here that we're going to use for the top of our brownies. But if you want to take a little bite, have we left to them? You can take Have a bite, yeah. No, oh, wow. mm. <laughs> That's good. All right, now these are a little bit different because oh, it's a dark chocolate. These yeah. were the ones we're going to send you home with. Oh my gosh! And we're actually going to have to send them home with different ones. But here's our I don't think they'll make your own. <laughs> Alright, so you go ahead and dig in first. These actually no, have all ladies almonds. first. Ladies first. She had, you know how many she had already? That's okay. One. Be, no, not quite. Jumping, no. <laughs> so on the top we have a chocolate covered tiger nut. Wow. Then we have a milk chocolate ganache. And we have whole almonds inside instead of our chopped Brazil nuts, which we did wow. today on the show. So go ahead and take wow. a bite. You want a plate? You can oh. use a plate. I'm yeah. going to have a chocolate covered tiger nut. Go ahead. Go, ahead. Tiger nut. go, ahead. Mm. go for it. Chocolate covered tiger nuts. Make up a whole bunch because you're going to oh, wow. eat this whole plate in one minute. Oh man, they are great. I love those. New products, huh? Mm. I guess we have to bring them out as a product. You should. I have to. Put them in a package. Mm. We want them. How's the brownie? Oh. Now that was chilled. Actually, that, um, I don't want to tell you, but that's three days old because we did two tests and we ate them. Wow. So that that's was just amazing. in the fridge. Do you like that? That is amazing. Um, here we go again. I have nothing to eat until my brownies come out. But. You guys, we made an egg-free version. You can do egg-free, and it really came out very nice and delicious. You, so that would be gluten-free, egg-free, dairy-free, soy-free. The only thing that's in there is the raw sugar, which you can replace with agave, maple syrup. We have a maple syrup connection, but we didn't get any this year, so we're very disappointed. And um, he said he tapped his trees and nothing came out. Wow. So how do you like the brownie? We, 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 we need somebody called Vinny. Oh, yeah. Let's go find a tree person. Yeah, right? Yeah, these are delicious, aren't they? Wow. Mommy, Do you want another, another? You can have another one of those. Can I have a bite of this, please? I want to try mm. and see yes, how it I... lasted. Mm. Can mm. I please have mm. another tiger nut cake? She wants another tiger nut cake. You're going to have to wait till the show's over, okay? Do you she eats? I think we're going to put her on the payroll. <laughs> She's a good eater. She loves to eat her food. They are good, Did you guys have fun tonight? Mm -hmm. That was nice. The brownies aren't going to be out in time, but we at least we got to let you try mm. the tiger nut brownie. <coughs> and I feel bad talking with food in my mouth, but if you haven't tried tiger nut brownies yet, you need to go on and order the flour. It's tigernutsusa.com. Yeah. Right? Got in the, Can you tell yeah. us where else you are? Well, um, you're on Twitter, obviously, but you can't order on Twitter. No, you can get us at uh, tigernutsusa.com. And um, we're in lots of uh, stores around the country. Right. We're now in 14 states, I think. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, and it's just California going to, to New York. <clears throat> Yesterday, we got our first store in Kansas. That's wonderful. Uh, which is great. So it's starting to spread out. Uh, they're also going to be at the Bloggers Conference, right? Yeah. In, in Las Vegas. So well, if you're going, all my friends out there, Gluten Free right. Girl and you guys. Come and say hi. Come and say hi. And we have a big more. surprise for you. Big yeah, surprise you for you. don't want to miss this. I can't even tell you, and it's just driving me nuts. But... Uh, driving me nuts. There you go. Driving me We're nuts. nuts. We're not nuts. How many times have we got to That is the biggest problem we've got. We're not nuts. They're not nuts. So all you peanut-free moms, allergy-free moms, you guys have to try tiger nuts. You can go online and order. They have come in a smaller bag like this or the big bag like yeah. I showed you before. And if you're not following Tiger Nuts on Twitter, it's at Tiger Nuts USA. Yeah. And you're also on Facebook? Yeah, we're on Facebook and uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn and all over the place. LinkedIn, definitely. And if you have any questions or concerns no. or you have any information you just want to write me, click on, write, me, click on write on nut, nuts at tigernutsusa.com and I, I promise I'll answer everything personally. It might take me a little while. But That's how we actually got started on it. I have so many questions about tiger nuts because the potassium actually, I'm going to actually read that because I have low potassium yeah. and magnesium. And the potassium on the back is 992. 992. Can you believe that? 139 per serving. That's your daily recommended yeah. amount. And then the magnesium is 90. 
and 13 per serving. So you really have a nice balance it's, it's, of, it's amazing. of carbs, it? of fiber, of you even have what you have even have energy in here. And it, which, the other version that the they, that's the and that's the peeled. Right? That's the peeled one. Yeah. These, these ones, that. You want to bring that out? This one. Can we try those? Or sure. Not? Yeah, absolutely. They, they, they're the soaked ones. You can and uh, this is soaked. These are called the premium organic. And these are actually 50% more fiber mm -hmm. than the Supreme Peel. These are 33% fiber in these. And everybody's trying to grasp fiber from other sources. <coughs> A lot of the fruits and vegetables we have now, it really doesn't have as much fiber as they say because they no. haven't reevaluated those packaging, the back of the packaging, in over 10 years. Well, and that's interesting you should say that, but I've got a second. You know, one of the yeah, things we do have is we have a quick thing there. Mm -hmm. And you can see that on lots of uh, products, starting to get the products here where the product people have this give you a quick idea of what's in the pack. Right, right. Not the whole thing, but we think that should be regulated right. so that everybody compares apples to apples. Right. And because it's true. not, you know, it's, and not it's not. And apples, if you really so our customers know how to read a back label. Yeah, and a lot of those people out there that are looking for something like this, you need a snack that's healthy. This is to me, I, I call it and I joke around but I say it's the healthiest snack in the jungle. Because Basically, I haven't found anything that's Well, better. no, we, we put the challenge out as people. Yeah. We said, you know, I we think it's the healthiest on the market. If you can show us a single source that's, a, you know, right. you can have lots of things together, that's different. That's but different, a single one source. thing that actually comes in a bag, right. forget about it, <laughs> because not many. It. Now, they also have on the back for the, the um, premium, premium organic that are not peeled to soak overnight. So Jack did that for us, and we're going to try it right now real quick before we have to go. Go ahead, Sophia. The reason we say that is you can eat them right out of the bag, but they're 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 really hard to chew on, you know. But when you soak them in water, they're fantastic. It's like popcorn. <laughs> they're very addictive. It's my so mother, awesome. My mother would call it Moorish. In other words, you eat them and you want to eat more. It's very sweet and it almost has a milky flavor inside. Yeah. Well, it's funny you should say that, which of course is one of the other products down the line is I'm, milk. I'm wanting this milk. Well, we're going to make some for you. And a nut butter. A no nut butter. How about that? A no nut nice? nut butter. It would be no fabulous. Nuts for nuts. I really had a good time. I'm Wouldn't so glad nice? you came, Jack. Hi, you're very sweet. She's <laughs> cute. Are you cute? You look how cute in the, the diction. You see your picture, right? <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you, for coming. Mama. We're so glad you joined us. And That's you also fun. brought us presents, which we love presents. But now it's time to go. You guys Hi. ready to say goodbye? Thanks for having me. You guys, thank you for tuning into ABC Gluten Free. We want you to come taste and see how good it is to be gluten free. Join us next week on our show. You never know who's going to show up, but we're so glad we had Chief Tiger Nut Jack here today. So for all you out there, come follow him on Twitter. Check him out on LinkedIn and go to TigerNutUSA.com and order yourself a bag. You're going to love it. If you don't like it, I want you to tell me because I want you to see what you're eating that's better than this. I want to hear what you have to say. So have a great day, everybody. God bless, and have a great weekend. Ciao. Bye now. Music by cool. various artists. Hair by Body Blends. Makeup by Artistry. Took a piece. Wardrobe by Ann Taylor, Tula, and Jason Pete. Penny. Follow us on livestream.com. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. ABC Gloom Free is a production of AmericanBoss.com. Bye. Very cool. Bye now. Bye, guys.